Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick review on the Shea Moisture Smooth and Repair Nourishing Hair Mask. As you probably know, this is the newest line that Shea Moisture has came out with, I think this past month or so. Um, they are available at Target. Not sure of anywhere else. But anyway, this is the only product that I picked up to try. Due to the fact that most of the products contain heavy protein and I don't really want to use products that have that high protein content because my hair, I don't think it does very well with certain proteins. I'm more of a light protein gal, so keratin and all that higher up on the list proteins doesn't work for me. But anyway, I have used this one time. Now, I'm going to give you my initial thought about it. And then as time went on, my cha my thought thoughts changed just a little bit. Um, This is the consistency. It's creamy, kind of thick, like a mask. It's not runny, it's not coming out of the jar. As far as smell, um, I kind of think it smells like it's clean, kind of maybe a grass smell. If you, you know, like weed, not, not a stinky smell, but you know, kind of the outdoorsy, grassy smell. That's my opinion. Which I don't think is too bad. Okay. So, what did I do? I used it. I shampooed my hair. And applied that. And I sat in the steamer. For about 30, 35 minutes. It went on really well. It felt really good on. It has nice slip. Um, it just felt really good on my hair when it was wet. When my hair was wet. Okay, putting it on. Okay, so I sat on the steamer. When I went to rinse it out, my hair felt great. It felt wonderful. So after I rinsed it out, I used. A leave in. I was gonna, I did the blow, uh, tension blow dry method on my hair. So after I rinsed it out, I put in a leave in, which I believe was the knot sauce. And then I tension method blow dry my hair in sections. Okay, once I was done, my hair felt like it had a protein. Oh, back to this for a minute. Um, I'm going to hold this up. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the ingredients or not. But the first couple, um, water, shea butter, coconut oil, vegetable glycerin, has aloe vera extract, um, castor seed oil, then down the line, a couple more oils. Then the down the line, it has hydrolyzed vegetable protein, which I think is not too bad of a protein. It's not too heavy. Okay. So after I did the tension blow dry method, I could tell in my hair, you know how your hair feels after you have protein. Now, it felt okay. It didn't feel dry. It just felt strong, you know, like I said, after you have protein. Now, nor I don't really consider this a protein treatment because normally when I do, usually probably the majority of people, when they do a protein treatment, they do a follow-up moisturizer, pro moisturizing conditioner afterwards, which I didn't really feel I needed to do that with this product um, because I it wasn't 
it's not, in my opinion, a protein treatment, okay? Like, when I use my okra reconstructor from She Said Tick, that's a protein treatment, in my opinion. Even though it's kind of a light, natural one, it still performs like a protein treatment. So I use a moisturizer conditioner afterwards. But I did not do that with this product. So as time went on, like that night after I did the tension blow dry method, I didn't really do anything to my hair right away. I kind of sat around, watched TV. I kind of just put it into ponytail and kind of just sat around. And what did I wind up doing to my hair? I think, oh, I put the twist in, the two-strand twist. I had two-strand twist in for like three or four days. Um, but I noticed that my hair wasn't as moisturized as I wanted it to be. Which tells me that I probably should have followed up after using that with a moisturizing conditioner. Which, I don't know. It, I'm kind of on the fence about that because I feel as though this should be the last step. Um, I was hoping for a little for my hair to feel a little more moisturized. In conjunction with the, you know, the strongest feel that you get from using a protein treatment. I don't know, maybe I'm... <laughs> Maybe I'm off base with that, but I just feel as though, I don't know, I, I felt as though my hair, I was hoping my hair was a little more moisturized. So, I am going to use it again, um, but I'm going to use uh, another conditioner after and see how I like my hair after that. I mean, I like the results, you know, for the most part, but... Just the actual feel of my hair um, when it was dry, um, I didn't. I felt it should have been a little bit moisturized, but um, but yeah, I'm just giving my opinion and in my experience with it. Others may have different experiences with it, but um, but I'm gonna use it again, and I'm gonna use a moisturizing conditioner as a follow up um, to it to see if I get better results. So anyway, that is my review on the new Shea Moisture Smooth and Repair Nourishing Hair Mask. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.